traders, Gavin McMaster here from Options Trading IQ, and today I'm going to share with you four stocks with ultra low valuations, and I'm going to tell you why one of them is not quite a buy just yet. Just a quick reminder that everything discussed is for educational purposes only, is general in nature, and does not take into account your financial circumstances. So the first one we're going to look at today is Amazon. Um, got some charts here via Coifin Charts. You can see here the price to earnings ratio and the EV EBIT ratio is pretty much the lowest we've seen in the last 10 years or so. So very good uh, valuation here on Amazon. If we look at the chart, the chart looks reasonably good. We're above the 200 day, above the 50 day. So that's good. And we're seeing a pretty strong accumulation distribution line there. So I think Amazon looks like it could be pretty good value at the moment. The next one is Lulu. This stock has really struggled in the last year. But we can see that the valuation here is starting to get pretty attractive with a PE ratio of 18.9, the lowest we've seen in a long time. And the chart is starting to look a little bit better. Uh, we've seen this 21-day uh, moving average flatten out and start to turn upwards. The 50-day moving average, which was providing resistance here as it was turning downwards, uh, has flattened out and is also now starting to turn up and it's holding as support now that the stock has broken back above. So I think that's a good thing. On the downside, we're not seeing massive accumulation in the stock and we are still below a declining 200-day moving average. But the fact that RSI 50 is kind of holding a support here on the dips um, leads me to believe that we might be putting in a bit of a base here on Lulu. Price action might be a little bit volatile given that it's still well below the 200-day moving average and the chart is fairly damaged, but starting to look a lot better here on Lulu from a chart perspective and certainly from a valuation perspective. And you can also see here that earnings have been pretty strong. So uh, really nice continuation in earnings, really, really strong earnings profile. And that PE ratio just continues to drop as the stock's been dropping and earnings have been pretty solid. So um, some good opportunities there, I think, in Lulu. Next one is CRM. Again, another one with a very low PE ratio compared to the last 10 years or so. So looking pretty good from a valuation perspective here on CRM. And if we look at the chart, we've got a really nice trend here in the last month or two. We've got broken back above the 21 and the 50 and also the 200. The slower moving averages are trending upwards. That 21 is about to cross through the 200. And after we broke through the 200-day moving average here, we pulled back to retest and that held a support. So um, valuation looks really good and price action looks really good on CRM. The last one is Alter Beauty, again, another one with a pretty attractive uh, PE ratio compared to recent history with a PE ratio of just 15.5. However, if we look at the chart, the chart is still pretty broken. Two pretty bearish candles in a row, and we've just broken back below the 50-day moving average. So we're now below the 200, the 21, and the 50. Um, so I think there might be some more downside in store for Alter. And I think even though it's looking a lot better from a valuation perspective, I think the price action saying that this one might head lower and it's probably better to wait a little while um, and see if this one can start to form a bit of a better uh, base at some point over the next few months. Hope you enjoyed those ones. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.